Yeah, yeah, yeah. What it do? It's your boy Stunt Lifestyle, and you are watching We in Miami podcast. And today, I have a very special guest in the building. We got the one and only Rick Sykes in the building from Marion Millions hit TV show. And we have some lovely ladies in the building. Ladies, let me hear you say hey. A very special hey. guest in the building. We got the we in Miami, we in Miami. We in Miami, we in Miami. We in Miami. We are in Miami. So look, we got some beautiful ladies in the building. Ladies, where we at? We in Miami. Hey, we got Rick Sykes in the building. And I'm in, I'm in Miami too. You in Miami. <laughs> Hey, look, man, you know, being in Miami, everyone wants to live the Miami lifestyle, whether you live in New York, whether you live in Wyoming, you can be in another country. Everyone wants to live the Miami lifestyle. So in Miami, you got a lot of successful men, a lot of rich guys. You have a lot of beautiful ladies. And, you know, you have some sugar babies, you know, sugar daddies, too. Right. So today we're going to do sugar baby, sugar daddy talk one on one. And, you know, we're going to get into it. So, ladies, let's start off with you guys. Introduce yourselves. We'll start over here. What's your name? How old are you? And what do you do for a living? Well, my name is Maria Rosa. I work at ATV Melinda's. And I study something that is not cybersecurity. Well, <laughs> wait, where your accent from? Venezuela. Venezuela. Turn off by the software. Venezuela. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I sing too. And I make music. Are you sing? Are oh, you going to do a little song for us? Mm. Bust Ugh. a little freestyle? Like, what do you want me to sing for you? Sing Shakira, Shakira. Ooh, baby, when you talk like that, you make... It's my love on the farm. I know about quererme de verdad. Hey, wow. okay. okay. <laughs> Sound good. Yeah. And uh, what about you? I'm Jess. Um, I am 27 and I am from Melbourne, Florida originally. Um, I just oh, I just moved down here like uh, four and a half months ago um, from Orlando, Florida. But uh, currently I'm the assistant nightlife director of one of the clubs on South Beach. Um, besides that, I at just, 23 Club. Yeah. You already Shout know. out to 23 Shout Club. You know, we had the We in Miami lunch party yeah. there. Great it was night. crazy. Such like we, you know, we were lit. We were lit. Yeah, we brought out like hundreds of people yeah. in the movie. Make sure y'all check that out on the Instagram. Definitely. And check and it out I in had general. a great time there. Yeah, Rick yeah. was there. Had had Rick was in the crowd like, yeah. we in Miami, bitch. I'll we in Miami. You, I had more fun than anybody, I think. <laughs> no, I love that. Absolutely. Now, hold on. So for all of you watching that don't know, there's a TV show called Marrying Millions. So it's like, Rather than the girl marrying the guy, it's like she's marrying his millions. That's basically the concept, right? Uh, I think you may be right. <laughs> so so the girls, like, so you had a girlfriend, a fiancé on the show, or what did you have on the show? Well, I'm going to tell you one thing right now, and that is this. When you just introduced me, when the introduction right now is great, but now you put such a bullseye on my back. <laughs> oh, that, shit. <laughs> that, that's cool. No, that's cool, but it's true. I mean, and I laugh about it, but wow is that ever true I mean, <laughs> I mean, everywhere i go people the first thing go are you the guy, You're the guy from the yeah, show yeah yeah first they say can i take a picture with you i say sure well a lot of people don't know rick is a big businessman from club owner strip club owner investor everything he has like really crazy yachts and everything like he's he's the true definition of a sugar daddy but he's not a sugar daddy he's just the boss you know what i'm saying yeah. I'm sure he's once been a sugar daddy. Have no, you? I, how many sugar? Well, let me ask you. How many ahead. sugar babies have you had in your life? Uh, let me see. I, uh, can I use some of your fingers? So yeah, you might need some of mine. <laughs> I don't think you have. No, no, but I could tell you all about it. I promise you. You know, the the lifestyle that I've led will tell you. I mean, I could teach you all these things. And I mean, you know, it's crazy because I was in the strip club business. Yes, for years, 17 years. Wow. And I'll tell you something. Wow, did I learn a lot. <laughs> so today we're gonna teach we're gonna teach the girls how to get a sugar daddy and we're gonna teach the guys how to get a sugar daddy. baby and we're gonna go over some pros and cons of that and we're gonna figure this shit out because i mean yeah. everybody everybody won't want everybody thinking about it you might have thought about it but let's finish up first uh what is your name my name is nadine um i'm originally from brooklyn new york okay. and my family is colombian Okay, so you from Venezuela. You from I'm Brazilian and Japanese. So Venezuela, Brazilian and Japanese. Yeah, it's a little interesting. What a combination that you know, is. And you from Brazil. 
Colombia and Peru. Colombia and Peru. And okay. where are you from? Jamaica. Jamaica, hey. Jamaica. Okay, we got Jamaica then. What's, <laughs> what's your name? Sydney. Sydney. Baby. And you from Jamaica. What do you do for a living? I'm a fashion designer. Okay, did you design the dress you got on now? Yeah. Oh, wow. that's sexy. Stand up. Let's see beautiful. it. Can we take a look? The whole set is beautiful. Damn, she a little cute one, too. Head to toe. I told you. Okay, I see you. Wow, Do a little beautiful. spin for us. That's beautiful. Oh, she thick, thick, too. A little it's slim thick. Okay. Wow. Look, she got the hair, the gray hair to match with the... You looking for a sugar daddy for real. She got the gray hair and shit. She's looking for a sugar daddy. Yeah. <laughs> she may have found one. <laughs> <laughs> so, first we'll start off. And I, I think we all know, but what is a sugar daddy? What, what do y'all think a sugar daddy is? Just someone who pay your bills, someone who give you money? Because a sugar daddy used to be, all right, he helping me get through college. But now it's like turned into some other shit. It's like, all right, he paying for my red bottoms. He getting me. Like, what is a sugar daddy to y'all? Go ahead, ladies. Take it. Because after afterwards, after you tell us what it is, then I'm going to tell you. So honestly, <laughs> like the way that I feel like it probably should be approached is it's you know they use the word mutually beneficial whatever mutually beneficial but for me well wait hold I, on before you answer this question how do you have a sugar daddy no, or i don't but I don't, you've had one before uh, or what someone may consider to be a sugar daddy college yeah that's a long okay. time ago though okay but so you speaking from experience no, yeah we're right. in miami all right so what's the definition <laughs> <laughs> um i mean it's to me it's uh you know um a lot of people take it different ways. There are some girls that I think like for them, it's just someone paying their bills and, you know, and that's cool. Um, but I think that it works out better when, you know, it's, it's not someone just doing that, but they're also, you know, putting you in positions to better yourself in life. Like, what do you mean? You advice like on opportunities? Or yeah. Advice. Like, you know, like almost like a father figure. Yeah. Do you have daddy issues? <laughs> raise your hand if you got daddy issues we ain't judging nobody <laughs> she got daddy issues you ain't got no daddy issues y'all cool with your None daddy you do i ain't cool with my daddy I, i'm like yeah, daddy <laughs> issues. i met that nigga like twice he was like hey man i don't know if you my son but i um, still love you I'm like nigga, get out of here dog <laughs> yeah i mean i love my dad but if he loves me i guess that's the question do you like no, we look for a father figures kind of no, in your man. No, I don't, no. no. Well, an important question to ask here is, do you like older men? Yeah. Uh, and I, oh, she <laughs> said that quick. And and she said it beautifully. Yes, too. she did. What's the oldest you would go? I do like older men. Like, what's the oldest you've gone before? Seventy. And 80. the truth now. The truth. Um, Thirty-two. Ah, that ain't old, man. You know, I thought she was gonna say like seventy or something. Thirty-two. Yeah. What? Well, all right. What's the oldest you ever dated? Well, date it's like a, a like loaded term because yeah. I would say. Well, what's the oldest like, you ever kind of like talked to or entertained? Um, probably like forty, forty-two. That's uh, it. I mean, my dad's fifty-one, so like I really don't try. Like, so you can't go over your dad. dad. Yeah, no. That, like, it's, uh. that's, well, wait, wait. Yeah. How old's your grandfather? Exactly. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> My grandfather is uh, 77 years old. <laughs> there we go. As long as he ain't over granddad. Oh, I'm younger yeah. than him. What's? Let me ask you, Rick. What's the youngest you would go? The youngest right now? Yeah, 18, with, 19. What? No, no, no. With all the with all what's going on in in the world, no. Under under 21, I stop. I'm so 21 is a cutoff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So if you met the most beautiful uh, girl, she was. I stop. So what happened? so if you was over okay so you wouldn't go no younger than 21 unless what if she was beautiful she was intelligent that's where I'm you wouldn't going. do 18 19 no, no. what if you met the most intelligent 18 year old in the world here's where i'm going with this unless she was drop dead gorgeous and i have a picture id <laughs> that she's over 18 but these days you got to be careful with id they be having fakes these girls be having fake ids like crazy and right, that's good. the truth that's the they be truth. looking real too yeah i know What's the oldest you've ever gone? Um, pretty young, like thirty. That's the oldest. Thirty. Yeah. You? Like, like mid thirties. Mid thirties. Now, here's a question I want to ask, and you could ask them in your your way of doing it. Um, what would happen if a if a guy is in his let's say fifties, sixties, whatever, and asks them out on a date? 
That's what I want to hear. And don't be capping because y'all all going to be like, oh, no, it's too yeah, old. Capper. But then when y'all see him, when he pull up in that Ferrari, he like, yo, I want to take yeah. you out. I want to take you shopping. Say, it switches up. Okay. Well, baby, don't suck my collagen. <laughs> don't suck your collagen. What is that? Explain, explain the definition of what that means. It means that you want to suck my collagen, baby boo? Bruh. I think she means like, like, uh, you mean take, like take your the breast life or... out of her hair? Like, me? Yeah, of course. Is that what it, okay. What did you mean? Um, I'm, I think she was talking about like taking, like, taking like her, um, like, youngest out of here, like some Ursula air. Oh, your collagen. Yeah, yeah. So, like, <laughs> Have you have have any of y'all ever been a sugar baby? No, no. Well, you have in your college days, you said. Well, yeah, but like. So, uh, but I'm saying y'all ain't never been it. Come on, like y'all done been in a like situation that. where it's like you dating a dude with money, and you more like. Well, you know what I mean. It's more like an arrangement. Let me answer Rick's question like correctly. Like, if someone was 50 or 60 and they like try to take me out on a date, um, first of all, it's really about confidence it's about how they approach it it's um for me like if the energy is there and we could still have a good time a date's a date like the date doesn't mean that you have to do anything after the date it's just a date you know like let's go have a drink like go get something to eat talk and so you so you think it can be a situation with a sugar daddy where there are basically no sexual strings attached it's just time there there are those and and you these guys don't want to don't want to fuck no some of them really just like they they want, want good, arm candy. They want conversation. conversation. They want to tell you about their divorce and how they lost their dog and stuff like that. They just be looking for a companion. Yeah, yeah and that's and that's cool too. You know. So, let's say you had one of them, but they want like a sexual favor. Are you gonna like, you know what I mean? Like you got to turn up. Like me, I'm not gonna have a sugar baby and not. I mean, we, we, you got to give me the sugar. <laughs> Everybody want a sugar daddy until they got to get a sugar. The, the, that's the, the lines. problem. There comes the lines. And that's when the, <laughs> that's that's when the conversations have to be had. And, you know. So it depends you know, on how much you, know, you so like. Let me but also, you. yeah, there's fine lines with that. Let me tell you something. This thing all turns out to one word it's called chemistry. Yeah. Exactly. If you have the chemistry, to me, the age doesn't mean a thing. Now, now let me explain this to you. I mean, I've been doing this for a long time, right? <laughs> More than a week. We in Miami. Maybe, maybe two weeks show. now, whatever it is. But I know this, that there's a lot of girls who I know who would say, oh, I would never sleep with a guy who's like, you know, older than my father. I said, okay. Until they meet you yeah, and then like, they oh, switch up. They be, they, how many times have you heard a girl tell you, Yo, I've never thought I would ever date someone your age. That's where. How I'm many going. times you get that? that? So many, it's ridiculous. Like if you had to count, how many well, times you've gotten that? I'm you gonna tell you something. I'm going to plug my book right now. Oh, okay? you got to zoom in on the book. And, and the reason I'm plugging this book is this: the very first chapter is called "The Vanishing Condom." Mm. Okay. So and you you like to go raw? This is. <laughs> <laughs> this started. This book starts when I'm 13 years old. But I have to tell you. I was going out with older women when I was young. That's how it is. It's like when you're young, you want young girls. I mean, yeah. older girls. But when you're older, you want young girls. Is that, is that Everybody wants what they the can't truth. have. That's the truth. And that's what happened to me in my that's life. Really totally, yeah. totally the truth. When I was in college, I was 20 years old. I was with a 40-year-old. And I was having the time of my life. Now I won't even touch a 40-year-old. How old were you when you lost your virginity? 13. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. What about you guys? Anyone else want to go first? I feel like I've been going first a lot. Um, I was 16. 16? 15. Well, me? At 12. Hey, she was an early one. We in Miami. <laughs> Started giving that college uh, enough early. In Venezuela, my mom bring me here. She separated me from my boyfriend. <laughs> Did she really? Yeah. Wow. So probably for the best. For the best, you know? Right. I was seven. It was my senior year of high school. Seven? Seventeen. Oh, I was like seven. I'm like, damn, so oh, hell, you just find oh, no. Wow. no, no, Terry. That's it. What did it reverse? Man, she beat me. I usually no, don't get beat. It was my senior year high school. 
I just I never understood why a girl would like want like a younger boy. Like, you know, when you let's say you was 13, she was like what 16, 17, 18, or no, actually she was 14. Oh, okay, that's not that bad. No, but you know, it was crazy. What about you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you better take a swing. I think I was I was like 14. And the girl, she was older than me. Like she's like 17. I'm like, what you want with me? And she turned me out. Yeah. She's you a dyke now. It's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> she was cute though. You she say wanted, what? She wanted like a little Justin Bieber vibe. You know. She looked like Justin Bieber. No. Oh, Lord, oh wow. Yeah. She How does she look now? She she's <laughs> she turned her she's she's she turned like she's a dyke now. But yeah, oh. but there's lipstick lesbians which I love. Mm, nah, she's not one. Oh, you like them? Oh, they're cool. Are you kidding me? Those are fantastic. <laughs> you ever had a? Oh you yes. know, uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, any question I want to know, the answer is yes. <laughs> he said yeah before I even ask. He's stunt. like, yes, yeah, I have. I Whatever you about to ask me, nigga, I've, I've done, done it. it. <laughs> hey, stunt. It's the old been there, done it. I, so, you know, so do you think you've done everything? Well, is there anything you, want, you haven't done? Yeah, a couple of things, but we're not going to get into that. Okay. <laughs> so, what's the wildest thing you've ever done before? Read the book. <laughs> Uh oh, he got some uh, crazy stuff in this book. I'm scared to read that. What you got up in there? Well, I'm, I'm going to tell you that. Listen, I'll give you a, a, a very minute uh, piece of this book in the chapter. And I was 15 years old. And what I used to do with a bunch of friends of mine, we used to go down to Manhattan. And I lived in Connecticut at the time. We take a train into Manhattan. We go to the whorehouses. Okay? <laughs> now these are these are these are Damn. these are four maybe five friends. We go into the whorehouses on in Manhattan on Ninth Avenue and. Uh, whatever, 46. Do they have whorehouses here in Miami? They say they I'm do. Sure they, exist. they say they do. I don't know. Like, I've been in Miami three years. I've never had no one hit me and call me like, hey, bro, pull, uh, pull up to the whorehouse. I don't yeah. know if they have one here. I don't know. No, if they do, maybe I'm not plugged in enough because no one's told me that. Makes about sure. it. I'm not plugged in either. No, I, I don't have have y'all heard of any whorehouses? Yeah. No. Now, I've seen some private parties. Um, yeah. Yeah. There's been some yeah. crazy parties I've seen. I've heard of like massage parlors that give happy endings, but aren't those like in yeah? Pakistan? But that's everywhere. No, but, that's, yeah, but you're right. I haven't, I haven't heard of any like whorehouse here. Either. I haven't heard yeah. of like a yeah. whorehouse, like a geisha house. Right. So y'all, so you used to go there when you were young. So, so this is interesting. So I'm 15 years old. We used to take the train down. We'd get one girl for twenty dollars. Okay. Now remember this years ago. So this is cheap in those days. Wow. Then you get another girl. Now remember, I'm 15 years old. When you're 15, you're a guy. You can shoot loads like 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 nothing. Like boom 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 boom. So we do two. Two girls. Then we go have a, a steak steak lunch, which was like two or three dollars in those days. Go back and screw two more girls. Get on the train. Go. Damn. Home. Damn four. Man. Yeah. Wow. Four. Four girls every Saturday. Oh my god. Damn, so Bray. damn, son. Where'd you find this? <laughs> you know, I gotta ask, and I know everybody want me to ask. How many girls have you had sex with in your whole life? You know something? I'm asked that all the time. And I got to tell you something. Let me explain this to you. Yeah. <laughs> Keep that music going. Keep it going because I'll tell you, when I give you this answer, you'll freak out. You have to understand something. I went to an all-girls college. Oh, okay. Okay? Wait, how you get to go to an all-girls college? Aha. That's a whole nother story. Twelve. You had a wig and you tricked them like, yo, I'm a transgender. Let me in. 1,200 women and 28 guys. Wow. Okay? That was in college. Damn. I know. Wow. Now, remember something else. I also owned the largest strip club in Connecticut. That's right. Now, I am the boss of a strip club. Do you know what that means? That means every girl that that dances there wants to be with the boss. Right. Every yeah. single girl. Yeah. And don't kid yourself. A lot of people say, <laughs> a lot of people say, oh, what kind of girls are these? I was in New Haven, Connecticut, and a lot of these girls actually went to Yale University. And they were in law school. They were in med school. And they were dancing. While they were in, in Yale University, did nice you sleep with all nice of them? Well, not every one of them, but quite a bit. A lot of them. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Were it a little like were they black, white, Latino, even green? <laughs> every color. <laughs> Be careful sticking in that green one, man. You don't know. You might wake up the next day like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> we in Miami. So let me let me ask you guys, how many of you are open or looking for a sugar daddy? Okay, so we have two here that are open or looking for one. All right, so I got a couple um, of questions for y'all. Okay. You looking to? Okay. You three? No, I'm not looking. But you're open to it. <laughs> I'm not looking. I don't chase, I attract. 
All right, so you guys are open to it. You're not open to having a sugar daddy, so I'm going to pay your bills and shit? No, I have a boyfriend. Okay, so you already have a sugar daddy. All right, so, ladies, do you mind if he's married? It's my first question. I want the wife to know. Okay. No cap. You I want, want it to be okay. To, bro, you want I feel like a lot involved? of these wives what? be knowing like it's like in arrangement. You want yeah. the wife to know? know? It's like the president, like he'll have like an assistant and everybody kind of, the wife knows the assistant's yeah. job in there is to take care of him. Like, where you're going with that. We're going on. It's going to be like, it's okay. It's chilling. Yeah. So how that work? Like you, you be like in the crib and you be like, hey, missus, whatever. And then you just, sure, whatever. you know, I know you the queen bee, but you know what I'm saying? I'm going to just take care of him real quick. And like, you know what I mean? Just make sure he. Put that deposit in my shit. Well, wait, one question I want to ask you. Would you like the wife to, to chime in with you, too? Yeah, that's a good mm. question. Rick is a freak. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I don't know. It depends on the person. Well, at least you didn't say no. That's good. That's have you ever start. Have you ever had a threesome? Yes. And did you love it? With two guys or two girls? A guy and a girl. You never had two guys? No. Okay. Guys don't be like that. They guys, don't. guys be. We had the Island Boys on the other thinking. night, and they said they they be turning up with each other to with these girls and stuff. So I was like, oh. We <laughs> <laughs> What about you? Well, uh, I mean, would you be open if he's married? Um, I would. Yeah, as long as everything is truthful and honest. Yeah. Yeah. I don't mind. Because it's more like an arrangement. Yeah. And I guess sometimes things can be less drama if everyone's kind of on the same page Honest, and shit. Yeah. Because exactly. when you start like, and I tell guys, man, you're not really a player. You're not really boss if you got a lot to a girl. Just keep it honest with it. So many girls, if you're just honest with them, they'll be down for whatever. Right. Exactly. So how much money does a sugar daddy have to have for you to be oh, interested? Hold on. Here's the answer. You need this. The whole gold brick. <laughs> The yeah, whole gold girl. brick. Really, girls. What do you say? You want to be treated like a product? No. No. You like a woman. Be. No, but like she said, she said sometimes like the guys, they really, these sugar daddies be treating these girls good. Like they be loving them, companion. Well, they may not, not even treat that, you like a product. Like, they could also like, you know, let's say they they're into like, re- like they're into something that you want to get into, like real estate or uh, they could be like just, a mentor. Who knows? Figure. Like God, crypto nowadays. You know what I mean? Like they can give you advice that you wouldn't know normally and do it in like, oh, sorry. Um, They could give you advice like you wouldn't know normally unless, you know, you had someone kind of like they're guiding you. And that, that's like experience. Yeah, like experience. It's yeah. almost like a father you know, figure. Like they can kind of put you on. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Yeah, while they're More feeding like you, clothing you, giving you a car, and you're living like a queen. Yeah. And they're, and they're also teaching you. So uh, what's wrong with this picture? <laughs> 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 so wait, so you say you got a boyfriend. So how old is he? 32. Oh, okay. And how old are you again? 21. Okay. 21. So he could be considered a sugar daddy, right? She low key got a sugar daddy. She over here capping. Like, Let me ask you this: Does he have he's money? He's not my sugar daddy. It's not about the yes, money. But does he like give you stuff? But it's not about the money, and it's not about. The money. Oh, you actually love him. Yeah. So, how long have you guys been together? A week. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually been dating him since 2019. So. Oh wow. Okay. Wow. Yeah. That's a long okay. time. He's Russian. Oh, he's Russian. Oh, okay. his, ever... family, his family is complicated with him hmm. because you know. I feel like Russians probably. <laughs> you ever dated a black guy? No, I don't want to. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. oh wow! Can we uh, remove her now, play? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. I feel like I'm. At that point where like I could be a sugar daddy, but like I just don't want to be a sugar daddy. daddy. But I feel like girls look at me like a sugar daddy. I don't know why they be like, because like you know how it is. You meet a girl within like a week, she'd be like, 
oh, I'm so stressed out. I'd be like, why? And they'd be like, oh, I need to pay this bill. They'd be like, y'all can't, y'all can't wait like two weeks okay. at least before you like be stressed. <laughs> you got to tell me. Time, you want to ask why girls are getting stuck? Look at this. Come on now. Okay, Come on now. You're you can't, you can't. I mean, I, I feel like you, you don't like say Rick, that. help me out. Do Come girls on, look at man. you as a sugar daddy you know, when they meet you? Can I tell you something? I love listening to you right now. Squirm and shake. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm, hey. this is this is great. I'm I'm having more fun watching you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but where do where do girls meet a sugar daddy though? Like, where where would y'all go? Like a website, or you just gotta find one in the club, or where do you where do you meet a sugar daddy? So reply to DMs. Um, I mean, on Instagram, isn't there the thing called something arrangements? seeking arrangements? Mm -hmm. Seeking arrangements. Yeah. That's a thing. Do you have a yeah. profile? No, I've never had a sugar daddy before. Why not? You just now came to this conclusion, like, yo, I'm gonna get, I'm tired I'm, of these broke niggas. I want a sugar daddy. I mean, I am tired of these <laughs> broke people, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, were most of your ex boyfriends broke? Yes, sadly. Well, most, most guys are. You have to understand yeah. that. Guy blows his wad, okay? He takes a girl out, spends a lot of money on her, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. He wants sex, of course, and he gets sex. Great. Mm -hmm. Well, this girl now thinks, oh my God, this guy's got money. He's gonna keep. <laughs> Spending money like crazy, like crazy, like crazy. And a guy does until they're fucking broke. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. And when they're broke, all of a sudden the girl looks and says, I don't need you. I'll find another guy. And guys, I'm going to tell you right now. Don't <sighs> spend your last money on a girl. These girls will take your money and spend it with another nigga. Okay. And then when you run out of money, she'd be like, bye. Okay. So first, focus then. on yourself. I mean, get yourself straight. Focus on yourself. Before you get spent, because I've seen guys do it, man. They'll go get paid and they'll spend a sometimes you can get more money out of a broke dude than a rich dude. Because mm -hmm. there's a lot of rich dudes out here who got millions of dollars, and they won't give you nothing. That's mm -hmm. why they have millions. But then you That's got broke dudes millions. out here, they'll give you their whole check. Like, I'm gonna I'm a flex on you. I'm a, you know what I mean? Because they're trying to prove something to you. So, yeah. ladies, sometimes you can be tricked too, like that. But like I said, man, I'm not trying to, I mean, I've tricked off a little bit, but I, I don't think I'm tricked off to the point where I'd be a sugar daddy. Like how 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 much you got to trick off to be in the sugar daddy like category? You mean about you? Or yeah, you? like how much do you got to trick off? Like um, dinner, that's basic stuff. Like dinner's basic. You have to fuck her mind. You gotta send me. I feel like you gotta have a good yes. Probably like I don't know. Right. <laughs> Listen. Uh, so going back to how you like, said, like purses, how, do you, how like, do you find them? Right. You said that first. You know, I've had. Seeking arrangements, that's like a thing. I don't yeah. do that. I have not. My boy that. got my so, boy actually has um, a profile on there. So I know that's a thing. Um, I don't know. A lot of people, people got those Miami profiles out here. Um, I worked in a five star hotel at the top and like a lounge in Tallahassee when I went to school for a seat right next to the Capitol. So a lot of lobbyists would come through. So I again do not chase i tracked they just kind of came up and it was really more of the hey we're in town for like a dinner convention so like, it's more so being the right environments and da, da, da. yeah and also like feeling the energy like i'm not just gonna like be like oh yeah dinner, blah, blah, blah. if the vibes are off yeah it's, 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 not, it's happening it's just yeah i think girls want like a cool guy and he's also a sugar daddy they don't want to just yeah, like you a sugar a daddy. Yeah. Y'all asking too much. Like most sugar creeper, daddies probably like, are creeps. Like creep. let's just be honest. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, don't be creepy. But you know, a lot of ladies that are watching, y'all might actually want a sugar daddy or want to know how to get one. I've actually had girls ask me before, how do I get a sugar daddy? And look, I'm going to tell you right now. Y'all got, y'all got your pens ready. Number one, like she said, you got to be in the right environments. If you want to find a rich man, be in the right environments. Mm -hmm. You can't go down the street to the local club or whatever gas station right. expect. Right. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go to some bougie places. You know, go to like Miami a boat Beach. show. You were at a boat show today. All day. This is where the rich yeah. people go to like a boat show or a fucking like top of a five star hotel or something like or a that. charity event. All right. Yeah. Dress club. really classy. And I'm gonna tell you right now, rich guys do not care how much money you have. You can be broke. Guys don't guys with money usually don't care. A lot of my millionaire friends. A lot of their girlfriends don't have anything, but if they like them, they like them. You know what I'm saying? It's usually opposite with women, but guys, we really don't care. Most of my girlfriends, ex-girlfriends were broke, you know? 
So yeah, you got to meet them at nice places. And also social media. Let's say you Tinder. can't really get around. You don't have a car, but Tinder's you need a rich a guy. Go online. I heard Tinder's a thing. Tinder? I haven't, I've not been Seeking a range. Oh, also. Range all the way up. Bumble. Bumble. Something like that. Then I don't know. Just put the age those, range, just like, put the age range up to the max. You said put the age range to the max? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like, gives you everybody. You get everybody. And like she said, she said Instagram. You can meet Instagram. a lot of people on Instagram. All you got to do is take a sexy picture, ladies, and like make your location be like a location that like rich people be at. So like Sunny if you live Island. in Miami, like make your location be like Star Fisher Island or Star <laughs> Island or something. <laughs> then all the Star <laughs> Island guys say, Ooh, who's this? And you look good. They'll click on you. Who knows? Maybe he'll DM you. You're literally one DM away from a life change. But and then guys you have to too. also check the DMs. You have to check yeah, you your um, request yeah. folder because I never check that folder. I hate to. that folder and I go through it randomly. That's where the money is. Like, oh, wow. The money ain't a lot of y'all sleep. The money <laughs> is in the request folder. I've been blocking. Yeah. That's where the money is in the request yeah. folder. Well, I got to tell you something. This is pretty interesting with the conversation we're having right now. And I will tell you this. With all the women that I've had, <laughs> I have never actually done what we call a sugar baby. And I'm not kidding. <laughs> I don't know if I believe that. No, it's true. I, uh, so you've one, never had a sugar baby. Like, one, I don't know, man. one thing I don't do is I never lie. So let me explain this to you. Am I generous? If I like the girl and it's everything's right, I'll be generous. But when a when a girl says to me, "Would you be my sugar daddy?" No. Oh, yeah. That's a it's the title and, of it. Like and, it's the label. Yeah, it's, it really. And I just don't even bother. But if you're saying, "I have I ever take uh, going out with a girl and had her pay for dinner?" Never. But I wouldn't even do it if I just met somebody off the street. I said, oh, you know, if I just met somebody, come on, I'll take you to dinner. If somebody said, we'll split it. No, I don't split it. I pay for it. I grew up that way. That, I a, that, a, that a man pays for a woman's dinner. I always grew up that way. And that's the way I've been all my life. Um, again, that to me is not being a sugar daddy. That's just being polite. Right. Okay. And I've been that way all my life. So, um, so, you know, when I, when I hear about the sugar daddy thing, listen, and Miami's famous for it and there's no question about it. I mean, everybody knows that if you're in Miami, you know, when they see a, a young girl, an older guy, oh, it's gotta be a sugar daddy. Well, in my case, no, it's not at all. And it's been actually a boyfriend, girlfriend relationship. Now, don't get me wrong. I get a lot of looks from a lot of people, especially older women and older women look at me and say, oh my God, you know, you're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and I love it. I mean, I just love to create chaos. They're also, just men. yeah, yeah. Well, be a little jealous. I, I love chaos. That. I love to create chaos. But I have to tell you something. I don't care. I couldn't give a flying fuck what these old ladies or old guys say because it doesn't mean a fucking thing to me. They don't pay you a real sex. We in Miami. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually a a really uh, it's like a quote that I've heard. It's like if you're not feeding me, fucking me, or financing me, then, like, why do I care? I feel like that's a very true statement. Like, if you're not paying my bills, if you're not the one who has to buy, like, buy my groceries, if you're not, like, you know, like, then why do I care? Yeah. Literally. Like, we got a super chat. Uh, Someone says this old man cap is fuck. No, he's not cap, man. This is Rick Sykes. And this man is a boss. I got to ask you, Rick. This is what I want to know, Rick. Go ahead. Because I'm the same way. Like, I'm just, I don't, I'm not really attracted to older women. Right. Like, it's weird. Like, I tried to date an older woman. Like, she kept throwing it in my face. Like, oh, you wouldn't know about that. You're too young. And like, <laughs> like, what's the oldest you would go, Rick? Right now? Um, oh, God. <laughs> I, I, women hate me because I... <laughs> Like be honest, what's the I, I'm, being, I'm being honest. Be honest. I'm being I'm being very honest. Um, when a woman gets to be around forty, I for some crazy reason, it's a psychological thing in my in my my brain. I mean, I don't know what it is, but I just say I can't do it anymore at forty, and I really mean that. So forty is the cutoff. Yeah, forty, and 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 it happened recently, not recently, but a couple of years ago. I was with a girl for quite a while, years actually, and all of a sudden she looked at me. She goes, "You're you're not into me anymore, are you?" I said, it's not that. She looked at me. She goes, I know it's because I'm 40. I said, <laughs> I started laughing. I said, kind of. But it was true. Wow. <laughs> so, and so, yeah, I know. I need psychological help. I know. I know no, you don't. I mean, you like what you like. Listen, no matter what you like, you like what you like. Uh, right. No judgment over here at the uh, We in Miami podcast. I'm here to tell you, you know, right now. 
And uh, <laughs> also, for you guys that don't know, we're live every day, Monday through Friday. This is the We and Mommy podcast. And also, guess what happened, guys? Show the sign. We got the sign today. Hey! Uh, where in Miami? Shout out to High Viz Electric on that sign. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, like, a lot of girls, this is a topic that a lot of people always talk shit about. That's why I wanted to do this, because girls feel like y'all get judged for, like, but everyone do it. Like, do y'all think a girl would get judged if she'd be like out there with it? Like, yeah, I got a sugar daddy. Y'all get judged, right? No, I don't think yes. so. Oh, yeah. I have a friend that actually she had sugar daddies and nobody cared. Like nobody cared. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. like, I feel like in the modern society, like people are getting more adjusted to like different a lot of different things. And like that's not really that big of a deal right now. Yeah, yeah. it's not. But sugar daddies can be different though, because it's like it's a different age now. Like, wait, wait, do you have to go to the bathroom? No, I'm raising my hand. <laughs> I'm like raising my this hand. This guy is a freak. Class. He's a freak. I'm like, I'm really <laughs> old school. Like, raise my hand to talk. Um, What's honestly, up? Honestly, I, uh, I feel like people do get judged. Um, even if it's not like. Um, we got a super chat from Corey Gaines. Eight. We in Miami. Rick is a boss. That's right, baby. Rick is a boss. Shout out to Corey Gaines. But I Hi, feel Corey. like girls do get judged. Shout out to EMW Global. Shout out to Rob. Old man acting like he pulling 18 year olds free. Hey, man, when you got that game, you can get them free, baby. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, all these girls who got sugar daddies, they always have that side, dude. They always end up loving the broke dude. Come on. You had a little sugar daddy, but you got the little homie up the street in the neighborhood that live with his mom that you in love with. But once you and he the one you word, go home, you be like, yeah, man, yeah, I got to go meet up with this dude. I can't yeah, stand this dude, yeah, but I want to get this money. <laughs> and you really love the young dude. That's what I hear all the time. No, I wanted to finish this because it's like a thing. I feel like um, necessarily, like people will say like uh, they don't judge, whatever. I, I guess maybe in this day and age, because, you know, like, like I said, like whenever I it was like college, so like uh, social media stuff wasn't like as big, I guess. Um, and people really don't care about things like OnlyFans and stuff like that. But like when it was first starting, people really cared. Um, it was more of like if I had friends that did it too, those are the ones I would talk to about it, but I would never just disclose it to my friends who didn't because like they, they would silently not judge, but like they were judging. You know what I mean? Probably more because they were hating. Yes. Than anything. When they judge, it's because they, they really want to be you. They wanna, they wanna, but like, they wanna like you know, it, it is what it is. I feel like maybe now a day is like in, in the last five ish years, it's been more acceptable. Yeah. But it's different I mean, now it's though too. Like me personally, I don't like if I did like I just wouldn't be broadcasting it out yeah, there because like keep why low, do I yeah. need to do that? Like, it's different now though. Yeah. I mean, girls can be like like you can be a sugar daddy for clout now. Like yeah. if you got if you got clout, you know, just a shout out. Like girls Jeff will fuck with you just for a shout out. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Like I get gold nigga just for a shout out. You know what I mean? <laughs> like that's <laughs> Jeff Bezos running up there. Like let me ask let me let me ask my yeah. man let me ask my man right here on the sofa. Let me ask my man, have you ever had a sugar baby? Yes, I had a sugar baby. Oh wow. Yes, I have a I had a sugar baby. How many have you had? Well, I had one that tried to milk me before. <laughs> <laughs> had or have? Nah, I had. She milked me, actually. Had. How many sugar babies have you had, fam? Just one. Just one? Yeah, only one. My man got but wait, wait. I want to know, sir. Did, did you milk her? Done. No, she milked me. And you, <laughs> you, you, got, you got to learn how to milk them. You got to milk them, too. That's what it's all about. I'm, you know, I'm going to tell you something that's very interesting. Um, I'm a, I'm a, I love, I, you know, I love film and stuff, and I love black and white film before it's CGI. Wait, you talking about porn film or regular? <laughs> <laughs> you know, black and white interracial? Yeah. Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, James like, yeah. I like yeah. black Marilyn film. Yeah. So, so what it is 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 uh, it's uh, CGI, and before CGI came, computer generated stuff. But I got to tell you, if you look back on Hollywood in the old days, you had the superstars, and they were in their sixties and seventies, and the girls they were with were in their 20s mm. and i'll tell you something everybody in the whole world used to look at these people in hollywood and say oh my god i wish i could be them okay and yeah. that's the truth now now that was in the 20s 
And no, I wasn't born then. <laughs> but that was in the 1920s. You ain't that damn old. What do you mean? Were you born in that age? Like, damn, bro. Like, That's what she's thinking right now. How old is this kid? I know, right? Yeah, I know. We need to see her ID. She looked like she yeah. might. Are you, are you of age? <laughs> no, I'm playing, I'm playing. <laughs> but, but this is very true. Yeah. So if you, go, if you look at history, history shows that this was the coolest the coolest people in the world were from hollywood and they were older guys with and and vice versa don't get me wrong older women with younger guys yeah okay uh, and that was just the coolest the thing norm. so yeah that well it was no it wasn't the norm it was what what everybody wanted to be like but nobody could because they were hollywood stars okay so now me personally yeah i live like a hollywood star i've been living this way most of my life and what's my nickname in connecticut when i was there hollywood <laughs> You know, I don't think I don't think I any that. guy has ever like met a young girl like 18, 19, 20 and then be like she be like I'm 19 and then they be like nah, like I can't talk to you. I think you guys are more okay with that than we are. Yeah, I don't think we like what's the youngest you will go, fam? The youngest I'll go is 20. Okay, you cap. cap. Nah, that's the youngest. <laughs> so you telling me All right, so let me ask you this question. Would you would you talk to any of these girls in here right here? One of these four? She's beautiful right here. You talk to this one? Of course. Okay, so what if I was to tell you that she was whatever, or was 19? Would you talk to her still? Would you make an exception? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Me and Miami. Caught up, Cap. Wait, we got to put a lie detector on him on this answer. I know, right? We need to put the lie detector test on him. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 30. Okay. Yeah, well, 30. <laughs> 30s? 30, 30, flirty and thriving. Okay. Yeah, 30 Nobody to 20 is fine. Okay. Now, like, let me let me ask you, though. My man, I step over here. Zoom in on my man. Yeah, he got the jury on and shit. He got the jury. Nah, this cool right here. This cool right here. He got the ice on. What you do for a living, man? You, what up, man? You in the game or what are we doing? Nah, I actually own a barbershop called, uh, and I have a um, trucking company called Level Transport. Y'all can check it out on Instagram. I have also a barbershop in Miami Gardens called Blackjack Barbershop. Nice. Oh, that's what's and up. And also okay. manage, manage artists. Oh, that's what's up. Thank I got you. my boy, Hab, you know. So you got a girlfriend right now, or are you single? Nah, I'm actually in a entanglement. Um, entanglement. Oh, gosh. Oh, <laughs> shit. Bruh. shit. <laughs> <laughs> having a girlfriend is like having a job, you feel me? So you got to be like all <laughs> into it. But every all the ladies here are single, right? Except for you. I know you got a man at home. Yeah. A thirty-year-old Russian. What is your? What does the Russian do for a living? <laughs> yeah, he has a company. <laughs> What's his company? As like, oh my god, I'm, I don't want to say that here. It's top Is it like a yeah. shell company? He's a no, he's, he's a Russian hacker. Intern, no, I'm yeah. playing. <laughs> and and you're single. Well, yeah. Okay. I don't know. Shit, I don't know what you be doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. You I might be like, like, You know that. <laughs> Yeah, but the audience doesn't know. Oh, yeah, I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> uh, By the way, you can find these ladies' Instagram in the description for all you perverts watching that want to DM me. <laughs> Any of these sugar daddies that hit y'all up from this video, I want a 10% commission for just putting y'all on the show. <laughs> no way. I'm saying, like, I think you can fly a girl out, spend a little money. I don't really think that make you a sugar daddy. I think it just means that you're just being a boss, right? Just you're just being a man. Yeah, good, like. I think it's a sugar daddy if she only in it for the money. Yeah. Like, does a guy have to be attractive for you to do it? Or is doesn't have to be no sexual, I mean, like physical attraction as long as he has the money. Brian, if you think that you're flying a girl out for no reason, you're not a sugar daddy. Damn, so you are a sugar daddy. If you no, fly I'm out. asking you. That's a question for you. You think if you just fly a girl out, like that's not what, what? is that sugar daddy ish? Yeah, a little bit? don't do that, dude. Damn. Don't do that. Nah. So should I make her buy her own ticket? Yeah, honestly, yeah. If she really Damn. wants to be there. And you know what? She's not gonna come. <laughs> oh, God. And that's how you know she's probably we broke Miami. without you. And I had this girl's like, yo, okay. I want to come to Miami so bad and see you. I'm looking at flights right now. I'd be like, Damn. And then I was just like, oh, okay, that's what's let up. Yeah, let me know. It. And she never hit me back. I guess she wanted me like, to be like, know. let Hope me get the flight. You know what I mean? Right. Hope but you know, look on progressive you know, for the lowest deals. Listen, let me tell you something. I think you're looking at it totally the wrong way here. Honestly, I'm joking. Oh, okay, because but also because really. there's no girl in the world because... that I know, and I know a lot of women who are going to sit there and say, "Oh, I want to come visit you. You're very handsome. I love your personality. I love everything about you. I want to come visit you." I'm not going to say to her, "Oh, where are you come from? L.A." Okay. Um, of course, I'm going to say, "Well, let me get a flight for you." You know, and it's a very, so you've never made a girl buy her own flight. I never would. That's not a gentleman, right? You gotta but buy listen, a flight. Nah, you gotta pay a but, flight. But you gotta pay the flight. If, if yeah, she's saying that come she on, wants man. to come see you, are you not? 
ex- well, not expecting, but like, would that not be like the gateway for you to be like getting that mutual beneficial relationship? That but it's, no, it's not a question of mutual relationship. Like, why else it's would a you question, be fine? It's a question. If a girl says to you, and you have to believe the girl, if a girl says to you, I think you are exactly what I'm looking for. Girls lie. Girls oh, look, lie. look, guys, Everyone we got lies. a we got a super Everybody chat. Lies. The guy said he's the perv already watching and DM the girl in the back. Which one did you DM? Who's in the back? He DM one of y'all. Who, me? So, uh, no, some guy said he's the perv watching and he's DM some of the girls oh. in the back. <laughs> Thank God it's not me for a change. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't really like flying girls out. You know why? Because it's too much. It's too I'm much sure pressure. It's like when you fly a girl out, you gotta enter like you gotta entertain them the whole weekend. You they gonna want to sightsee. Yeah, this is Miami, it's a tourist. They want to sightsee. They want you to show them things. They want you to take them shopping. They want you to spend money. They want you to go. Right. It's like you gotta cancel all your shit. Yeah, but not really. No, no, no. no. Like I had a girl look. She right? flew in from Vegas and she was staying here. Vegas, stop. wait, wait, stop. Yeah, right, Vegas right. is different. Hello. Yeah. It's a whole different ball game. <laughs> Vegas is different. Yeah, so if you're flying somebody out for Vegas. You're... Yeah, of course. That's a different ballgame. But let me tell you something. I've had so many girls, and I'm not kidding, who come from the Midwest or from, from the North or something like that. You got to get one in the country, right? Get a country girl to come. Yeah, the girl I then their expectations, yeah. the country girls, their expectations low. The girl I was with recently, she's from Springfield, uh, Springfield, uh, Illinois. That's where you get okay. them, yeah. Like Alabama, Springfield. <laughs> well, Alabama, then they come here, it's, it's cool. You ain't got to, you know, go crazy. Yeah, I mean, if you get a girl from Vegas, hello. Yeah. You know, forget about it. It's different. Yeah. I feel like every girl in Vegas got a sugar daddy. I think you're right. I want to ask something so. to you. Uh oh, what you want to ask? Wait, wait, wait. Who's she pointing to? Uh oh. I'm on the hot seat. You, sugar daddy. Yes, baby. We are mad. Do you get bored of the girls? Um. Oh, uh, give me, give me a. a do you a, get bored? Like. Why Give me a time you, frame. Why why do you need to date or meet different girls? Like what do you think they are complicated? Oh, women are very complicated. And women yeah, will tell you but that. But don't you like when you have a connection with a girl that it's that you can grow the connection, you know? But you remember that what it's I a sugar right. baby. Remember that what you I can said grow the connection. Right. Remember what I said in the Bidian's conversation? I with me everything's chemistry. Okay, mm -hmm. total chemistry. I can get chemistry when I look at a girl's picture. Mm -hmm. I can start feeling the chemistry just in the picture, believe it or not. And people sit there and say, impossible. No, Yo, not. me too, bro. Like, I can literally look at a girl. I don't know if I'm just like on some pervert shit, but I can look at a girl on Instagram and know if like I want her or not. Am, am I right? Y'all, inst like, Instagram is powerful, bro. Like, you I know what I'm saying? Question with that. What's up? Does a girl's followers matter to you absolutely when you're not. looking at that like is it is it like if she has like 200k that nah, niggas, it i'm gonna tell y'all the like secret niggas like, like girls who don't lower. have no followers yeah and like they post like maybe right. three times like, a month you, you know how many celebrities or like yeah. just high value men i've I met that were know. like yo i want a girl that got less than a thousand the low-key ones value more because they like yeah because they like they don't they want a girl that like nobody know like yeah, they just want to Hotter, no one can but fucking know her. A question, but what if you don't know? Like, she could have under 1k, mm -hmm. but she could be doing things behind the scenes. That's how I go, yeah. Because a lot of girls with a lot of followers, they be less lit in real life than the girls with no followers, right. and they just don't post it. Because I knew some freaks, like some crazy girls that get lit, turn up, and they never would post it. You would never know. But then the girls that just not as lit, they post themselves and they go out, and people judge them like. Oh, she always out, but she might be less lit than the girl who don't post it. Because everybody turning up, man. Let's yeah. just be honest. Some people post it, some people don't. Social right. media is uh, all a facade, anyways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, you can't believe uh, what you believe see. What you see, people yeah. can because it be cap. Be, well, yeah, and not only like that, but like you can show that, like, oh, I'm out, I'm having fun, I'm doing all this stuff, but like on the sidelines, like you're really coloring amazing. and watching no Netflix, you ain't doing yeah. not shit, you know. So. Because, you know, it'd be a lot of people, That's man. Me. A lot yeah. of the most successful, richest people, number one, a lot of them don't have an Instagram. And the ones that do, you they wouldn't even time. know it. They're not, like, taking pictures, holding money up. I mean, some time. people with money do it. I know a lot of people with money do it. But the majority, they're not. You know what I'm saying? So don't be wealthy, fooled. You're not flexing your money. Not at yeah, all. In most cases, <laughs> not yeah. Not all. in all cases, because I know some not billionaires that flex, but, like, it depends on how old they are, what they're into. Like, you know, but for the most part, if he throwing up money in all his pictures, he 
probably doesn't have as much money as like the gentleman who's in a right. suit at the at fucking boat show. Younger. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. It's yeah. a difference. There's, there's levels a difference to the shit. between old money and new money. Exactly. Yeah, it's new money. Right? Oh, yeah. The people that have money don't really want to show they have money. It's called Nouveau Riche. And okay. Nouveau Riche is, a, is a, a very situation. When I was telling you before, you get guys who will take a girl out and blow everything they got on her. Okay? And then all of a sudden, you know, the girl's thinking, wow, this guy's great. He's going to buy this for me. He's going to buy that for me. He's going to take me out here. And then, and all of a sudden, the guy's got no money. And all of a sudden, she's like, wow, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Has that happened to y'all? Like, y'all, like, met a dude and, like, his profile was popping on the internet. And then you meet him in person. It's like nothing was really how it was. Like, them was his homies' cars. And oh, yeah. Maybe what do y'all do? Y'all just dip? Chains. It is pathetic. So what do y'all do? I dip. You just do it. You, um, like, if you're lying, if you gotta lie for situation. social media, that's lame. Okay, okay, but if you had a sugar daddy, what would you expect out of him? Like, what what are the expectations out of sugar daddy? Like, okay, you raise your hand, you say you'd be open to a sugar daddy. All right, bet. Let's say, let's say, for example, Rick was your sugar daddy. What would you? What was his duties? What what would he gotta pay? I mean, I would expect from him what guys really want is my bad. What I expect from guys is really they want sex. You know, that's all they want. But if it's other things like just company, like taking you out, having conversation, then that's fine. No, but what would you expect from him? The flip side of the um, situation. I would expect communication. Gifts. Yes. No. <laughs> You're talking about you communication. Like, you don't want to talk to that nigga. You, you want, want that bag. Get, get out of here. I want a Birkin. Oh, my God. Yeah, got that. I mean, I would expect everything that a man with money has to give. Like, Expecting. like you said, gifts sex etc like that's all guys want to give so yes. like how much sex like every day um like i twice feel like day? yeah guys want it every day that's so what's the like. what like what's a healthy amount like per day you would want to do with your man i think at least once a day is good like once yeah, that's fine what's the max you can handle i'll say maybe like three to five three. so you've been in a relationship where y'all did it like three to five a day yeah damn mm-hmm <laughs> you be going in. She's a, feel that. a freak. What about you? What's the most you've ever done a day? What's the most times you ever had sex in one day? I don't count. And with girls, it's different. So what you mean? You be with girls, or what you mean? <laughs> Just know it's different. But <laughs> oh, she, she a freak too. Like, what you, what's know. different though? I don't understand what you mean. What's different? I don't know. Like it's not about like how many. Times. It's about the quality of the yeah, time. It's like. So you would rather get it one good time a day than like five times and it just be black type shit. For sure. Of course. Yeah. Do you have like a pretty big sex drive? I guess. Like, you if guess. you want to put it that way. I want to put it that way. <laughs> if if I'm attracted to you. So what would you want in a sugar daddy? Let's say I was um, let's say I was gonna be your sugar daddy. What would be my fucking obligations? Let me write me. this shit down. <laughs> <laughs> to talk to you about what? What you want me to just buy like you or what? Life. No, just like life. Like just have like real genuine conversations with me. I mean, like, not on no bullshit, not no, oh my God, I need to pay my bill. Oh no. Like, no, like that ass. Like, if you want to no. get me a gift, if you want to be nice, get me a gift. You feel me? Like, but that's, a, boy, that's, that's a boyfriend. Kind of that's a boyfriend. That's yeah. a sugar daddy. Yeah, yeah exactly. I feel like, hey, but why can't it be like, why do there have to be titles? You feel me? Like, why can't it just be a boyfriend that's older with money. You so me? would you date a yeah, broke dude? I you... have. So I are you open to have. that? Like if he's real cool, the connection's there, would you do it? I guess, but they get so insecure. Like they're just so. Who all guys get insecure or just no, old guys? No, like, like broke, no, broke young men, honestly. Are insecure. Broke young men are super insecure. Right. right. They don't know. I don't know. They don't know what they're doing with their life. First of all, they nice. try to cap like they do. But so you like an older man? I like somebody who knows what he's got going on. And how old are you again? Are you not revealing your your twenty? Twenty one. But you know, you're very right about that because you know you get a secure guy, okay? And no matter how old the girl is, a younger a younger woman. Loves a secure man. And the problem is, is I think younger girls are naturally, even if they don't admit it, they naturally attracted to the older there's men. There's no question about it. You got, I mean, honestly, all kidding aside, what happens in my life, it's unbelievable. I mean, I get all day long, I get young girls constantly saying, 
you know. Do they no homo? Do they call you daddy like when they have sex with you? Oh, some of them do. I mean, you know, yeah. Are you into that? Nah, I mean, I'm into I am that. And I'm not. I mean, you know, I'm really into sometimes, that. Sometimes you know, sometimes you slap on the the ass and say, "Come on, bitch, do this, that." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we are Big Rick. Do you wear a condom? Do you wear condoms or no? No. Wow. Condoms. Do, we, do, any, do anybody wear that? <laughs> hey man, my man over here, he said he don't you wear them too or you don't wear condoms? I wear them. Yeah, depending on who the With female Madison? is. Depending on who who the female. Okay, you gotta be many? a certain so what percentage of times when you have sex do you wear a condom? Be honest. We won't judge you. Be honest. Though. I'm a dirty dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dog. I'm a dog. I'm a dog. Uh, my, dog. my new hero over there. <laughs> be safer out here in the streets, friends. All right. We got a super chat. Uh, let's see what we got. I'm flying to Miami to slap this old man. Hey, man. Why are you talking about that? I love it. I love it. You can slap some ass with him. <laughs> Rick probably slaps more ass than you. Hey, also, we're going to play a game. We're going to play a game, guys, for the Super Chat. Um, we're going to choose who the gold digger of the day is. <laughs> the winner gets $100. You can vote who with the Super Chat who the gold digger of the day is. The winner gets $100. But anyway, we'll, we'll get back to that later. But, yeah, man, I mean, I don't know. I could be a sugar daddy. Like, you, was, you said you was one. How many times you been a sugar daddy? One time. How old was she? Well, she was probably like 22, 23. Oh, no. That's uh, basically like, you know, like a sugar daddy is like you taking care of a female that's in a whole nother relationship. Y'all don't got no tides. So, all right. all right. So coming from experience, someone who had a sugar baby, where do you find a sugar baby? Because it's a lot of people watching right now. A lot of guys, they want a sugar baby. You know, maybe they don't want to be in a relationship. Maybe they just want an arrangement. How can they find a sugar baby? You got to be outside. We in Miami. We in Miami. You got to be outside. You got to be outside. We in Miami. <laughs> so let's say you at the club and you want to find a sugar baby. So guys, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. I heard stories. I ain't never been that dude. But like you can run in the ear and just be like, what you say? Just be like, I'll give you 500 if you come home. Or like, what do you, what do you, what, how do you find a sugar baby? I'm gonna be honest with you, depending on how pretty you is or how fine you is, I'm gonna cut it on the spot. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> like, you just I'm, pull out the checkbook on I'm the gonna spot. Let you like, my energy off rip. You know yeah. I'm not even gonna play with it. You know like, I'm off rip, like, look, how much you want? Yeah, off rip. I'm gonna tell you what it is. So, has that ever worked? Like, you walk to a girl, be like, damn, but you find it. Yeah, I'm trying to spend a bag on you. How much you want? Yeah, of course. It, it works. And they be I'm working. Fine. They be like, shit, what's up? Yeah. They be ready. They be ready. Be ready. Actually, at uh, the Halloween party we had at Pilos, mm -hmm. there was a, a random friend of yours. Won't name names. One of my friends. Uh, they well, offer you some I money. I don't know about friends like that, or maybe acquaintance. But uh, this is probably the best one I've ever heard. I didn't really uh, go for it just because of I'll get to it. But uh, because to me, we're, we're actually talking about like normal life stuff, and he's talking about where I went to school. Da da da. I'm like, oh yeah, you know, I went to Florida State. I'm like 40k in debt. Put myself through school by myself. Da da da. Yeah. He goes, well, how much are your student loans a month? And I went. To be honest, uh, I don't really know because I just hit defer, defer, defer <laughs> <laughs> every time it comes up. But uh, if, I, if I could guess, I think it's like $600 a month. He goes, well, I was just wondering because, you know, I like to pay people's bills. And I was like, damn, he came out like that. that. Damn, one, son, that where'd one, you find that this? Was kind of you got because you got to think about but it. A lot of men, a, a lot of men. It was just a funny line. I was like, yo, that that one was good, but yeah, like, like a lot of men that older, they got money. Like, why not? Like, they already done been married. They already been divorced. They already got kids. Now they just want to have fun. If you got the money, why not? You think what they say? It ain't tricking if you got it. It's right. like, do I need to make an Excel spreadsheet? Pay a bill, like Rick. I don't think it's gonna hurt Rick <laughs> to pay your fucking cell phone bill. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> one swipe will save a life. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> we in Miami. So how many sugar daddies have you had? Because you say you had a couple back in the day in college. Or how many have you had? Total, well, maybe like three. But mine were like. Were they like older, younger? I mean, older than me, but like not like. Because I know you probably be attracting them all the time. Stand up. Let me see your fit. You look good, too. She's, <laughs> she's sexy. Right Quick question for the ladies. 
What if the orders do like you? Like, Hold on, wait, wait, do a spin. Oh yeah, she looked good. I might, I might be a sugar daddy for y'all. And zoom in on this one right here. I swear, like I like. Now let me see your outfit. What your outfit look like? Oh shit. <laughs> Do a little spin. Oh my goodness. Hey man, by the way, this is the We and Mommy podcast. This is the only podcast where you we find beautiful mommy. women like this. Let me see your fit. Don't be trying to hide back there, Santa. Hell yeah. Oh, oh, a bit, girl. Come we on. and Mommy. Come on, Ariana Grande. She got the pink on. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, these some little bad ones. I know you got up earlier, but one more time, just real quick. Come on, one more time. We and Show the outfit one more time. Damn. You made it yourself too, girl. Show that outfit. Yo, I feel like I know you though. Like, yeah, like we hung out at that party at Flo Rida's house. Yo, we made out. No. In the car. No. Yes, we did. I know you. No, we did. That wasn't you? Okay, yeah, you're right. That never happened. <laughs> Don't listen to me, y'all. I'm tripping right now. You might have smoked some weed. Yeah, maybe Stop, Stop it. Get some help. So, like, what's the Stop uh, it. <laughs> what's the um most expensive gift you ladies have ever gotten from a man? Fendi bag. Fendi? How much? Four grand? What did I do? Yeah, how much was it? Four grand? He's my boyfriend. See, I told you her boyfriend wasn't so sugar nice. daddy. <laughs> nigga buying Fendi bags for four thousand dollars. I don't think an, uh, a Russian guy is a sugar daddy. Oh, Russians, they not like that. No. Russians trick off now. I know a couple of Russians that be staying in the club money. tricking off. Yeah. They don't. No, no, no. Russians do, and I promise you, Just go to Sunny Isles. <laughs> I know, right? All those Russians. Boy, are you so wrong. Rick, what's the, I know you're not a sugar daddy, uh, no, I, Rick, I, I, but what's the not. most expensive gift you've ever bought a woman in your whole life? Wow. What is the most expensive? Oh, it's got to be jewelry. Um, and then that's what it is. And it could be thousands. I, you know, it's not even, it really is not a big deal to me. You know, my whole thing is that, that a woman appreciates what I get them. Okay. And that's really what it is. If they don't appreciate it, then I'm pissed. And then, then it's just, it's not going to, not going to work. And that's what I'm, and I'm going to tell y'all a secret, ladies. Listen, if you want to get a sugar daddy or you just want a man to trick off, this is what you got to do. Just there are two ways to do it. A lot of real straight up sugar daddies, they, uh, like sugar babies, they're going to tell you straight up. But if you want to be the secret one, and you just want to be like the girlfriend, just act like you don't want it. Because that's how I got tricked. I met this girl on the Internet. I Ubered her down from West Palm Beach. She just moved in with me, basically. She was here for a couple of weeks, and she just acted like she didn't want nothing. Like She was like, oh, I left all my clothes, all my other clothes. <laughs> and I, like, I need something to wear. So I was like, all right, I'm going to take you shopping, <laughs> buy you new clothes. The nurse. Then she was like, oh, my God, you don't have to. That's so nice. And then she was like, oh, I gave, before I came here, I like saw this homeless guy. And I like gave him all my money, and like I don't have any money now. And I'm like, oh, my God, you have such a good heart. Here, I'll give you some money. You know what I'm saying? Like she was gaming me, like you know what I mean. And then she was like, "Oh, I um, I just really uh, my dream was always to like eat at a fancy restaurant. I never get to eat nice, but I'm like, well, I'll take you to a nice restaurant. Like she was gaming me. Act like you don't want that shit, and then he'll trick off. But then some of the, I mean, if you're not like a real, if you're not good at it, the ones that's good at it, they know how to just like look, nigga. If you want this, here's the price. Here's the bag. But that's a different thing. And that's what I wanted to get into. I wanted to ask y'all, what is the difference from being a sugar baby versus a prostitute? Well, one thing, before we get into that, you enjoyed that, though, when she was saying... That when I she, did. Like, I, I don't need did. it. Like, I she I, she needed me. It, it's a, it was a game. And Niggas she, want to be like, needed. Oh, yeah. I don't yeah. care what nigga. Every nigga want to be needed. That's what it is. It, you were needed. I you felt loved, needed. You, you like, it. she needs me to survive. Yeah, right, right. If you want a man, make him feel like he need you That's need right. him. And Can then he'll I be ask like, that for real? Like, is that like, like, as someone who, you know, does a lot of stuff by themselves, mm -hmm. really always has, Um, is it like, 
uh almost like a turn up like when you see someone's like kind of in a bit like doing their own thing does it make you think like oh i don't she doesn't really need me so like if someone's always to happen she'd be like oh go fuck off you know what i've I mean? never met a girl that was like doing her thing and such big executive and it just turned me on so much like oh my gosh she's like so successful and such a big executive i want to marry her i want to be with her that's never happened to me well not even like that i'm just saying like i don't think guys really like, care no independent God. like having her own the secret is money. god like, i'm gonna tell you like intimidate you high like, value you men into girls that you can be like oh this is like a shit i could like tell high value you. men would rather be with the girl that don't have shit i hate to say it and y'all might be mad at me but from my yeah, experience it's the truth. It's the truth. It's the truth. high value men would rather be with a girl that don't have shit but it's because, because he already has the money so why does he care about you having money he doesn't want the money to compete with him he wants you to all be about him Stroke is ego. High value men usually want that ego stroke. They, if you busy all day working on your damn business, then you ain't got no time for him. And he wants you to be at home cooking and cleaning You're for him. So right, you are so right because you know again it comes down to appreciation. When a woman has her own job, has her own money, etc., what are you going to buy her? She could buy whatever she wants. Yeah, mm. but if you find somebody who doesn't have the money. Okay, and it's a beautiful girl, and you're sitting there, and you get her, no matter what it is, you get her a little diamond pendant, you know, thousand dollars. All right, girl will look at it and say, a girl who didn't have that, she look, oh my god, I love it. Now you give that to a successful woman, and she's like, oh, this is it, yeah, an attorney. <laughs> oh, and you're like, what is that? That's yeah. I, I give that to my dog. Yeah, you know? facts. So, do you guys think that this is why Kim K is? Uh, do you guys think that this is why Kim K is so into Pete Davidson right now? But Pete Davidson, that nigga got money, don't he? Ain't he like a famous kind of, comedian or something? I'm just asking because, you know. He, we got a super chat right funny, now. He says, wrong. High value men want a power couple. Now, right. I will tell oh, you. Uh, that's Thank from uh, Rob. Now, I will tell you, Thank you. I would like to be have a power couple, but there is a but. She just got to be into me, too. Like, I don't want her success to be more important than me. I want to be number one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because like my man right here, he own businesses. He got his own money. So he want a chick that's going to be like treat him like he number one. He don't want to be number two to her job. And I know it's messed up, ladies, but I'm just telling you how high value men think. A lot of women think if they're successful, then they'll attract more men. Than, but no, like I, I know rich dudes right now, man, their girlfriend don't have nothing. So them. submissive nothing. but supportive? Absolutely. Okay. It's okay. And they're happy. And they're happy. Most of them are happy. And that's the that's the bottom line, the happiness. Well, do you think money can make can you buy, buy happiness? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know something? If you have money, you can be happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. What about y'all? Can money buy happiness? I'm not happy broke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she said money <laughs> buy happiness. Can answer. money buy do you Great think answer. money can buy happiness? Um, I mean obviously with money comes a lot of things that create stability and stability creates happiness so therefore in a sense yeah money it does buy happiness because you know okay so three are, people happier. said money can buy happiness what about you two i mean i don't think it's just about money i think it's about everything else if you treating the person right and etc okay so you think what i think it's more about money <laughs> Um, I don't know. I think like money is not everything, obviously, but like she said, money does buy stability. And that's really a really key to happiness because then you have the freedom to do whatever you want and explore yourself. Just mm -hmm. live. All right. So let me let me let me explain this to you. And this is a very, very common known fact. When people have financial problems, that usually is the end of a relationship. Mm -hmm. And so there's your bottom line. Um, again, it, it's a whole different thing. If, if, a, if a woman is successful and she's the breadwinner, a lot of guys can't handle that. Um, just like a lot of guys also can't handle the fact that when a woman is taller than them. Why? I don't know. Ego, <laughs> ego, yeah, ego, yeah, ego. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're probably, I'm sure you're right. But it's funny. I mean, I've, I've had this discussion with so many guys. I said, what happens if you go out with a girl and she's like three inches taller than you and she puts her heels on and now she's eight inches taller? And my friends say, oh, I can't handle that. Now, I mean, I've done it, but remember I was in the strip club business. So so I had strippers that were real tall. 
They're already wearing and, eight inch shields. Yeah, <laughs> 10, 12 inch shields, I think. But it didn't bother me. But, a, but I think it's ego. I think you're right. I yeah. think that's the right word here. Yeah. Because they can't handle a woman having anything more than them. Right. Because of their ego, and they can't put that to the side. Is that what you think? You think so? Are. Basically, like like dudes with money, like they really just got that ego, and they want to be the only one well, with no. it. So you'll like depend on them type shit. All dudes have a really big ego. Mm. They yeah. just need my man over here shaking his they head. You don't agree with that? They need nah. a stroke, girlfriend. So, my man yeah, said, "Nah, that ain't true." Or like, if they don't deserve this drug, then it's like you down bad. <laughs> yeah, facts. Yeah, sorry. I mean, me personally, no, I I think that. Can money buy happiness? I think money can buy experiences and experiences can make us happy. So it's like, if you got, think about it, if you have unlimited money to do anything you want to do, that means you can like travel the world. Mm -hmm. You can like buy nice stuff. And this stuff like really make you feel good. Let's say if I can go down right now and buy a Bugatti, I think I'm gonna feel good, right? Yeah, yeah. I think if I can go fly to wherever, Jamaica and you know, stay in the best hotel mm -hmm. and the best fruit and the best food that tastes, so good and everything catered to me and massages and all that shit that rich people can do that would make me feel good so i think money buys experiences and those experiences can make you happy but like can just money itself make you happy i'd have to say no because like i know a lot of rich successful people that like are miserable but at the same time it's like broke people have to deal with the struggles of like mm -hmm. trying to figure out how they're going to do this or do that and that strains your life so living a broke life can be a sad life too so if i had to choose one i'm gonna go with the money you know what i'm saying <laughs> well, <laughs> be honest. yeah i think it's a fine <laughs> line and it, it also depends on someone's taste and things you know some people have a taste for finer things in life and they're not going to be happy unless they have that some people are content with other things you know it's just that it's a matter of it's also human nature you know it's also a, a very important word here also you ready security security that's right and if you have money you have security and it may not you may you may be right it may not be the ego thing but it's, i think it's the, the security absolutely yeah i think that's what it is and speaking of security and money you know we got rick sykes in the building right now he is a single man and you know <laughs> He he had a girlfriend, a fiance on Mary Mary and Millions TV show, but now he's a single man. So, and I know a few of you ladies here are actually open to having a sugar daddy. So we're gonna play a little game. Can we get some game music? Let's play a little game. We got Rick Sykes. And he's gonna hand a card out to each one of you ladies. You have to answer. And at the end of the game, he's gonna choose who he would choose for his sugar baby. Hey. No, I don't. Uh, I don't show them this, what it says. No, you'll hand them you a card. Face down. And we're gonna play this game now, ladies. When you answer these questions, answer wisely because he's gonna decide from these questions which one of you that he wants to be his sugar baby. Rick Sykes from Mary and Millions. Rick, what? <laughs> what happened to your fiance? What happened to what? Your fiance. Oh, my fiance. Well, I'll tell you. Uh, first of all, I think it's called COVID. Um, oh, shit. She got COVID? <laughs> Damn. No, actually, I did. Oh, you got COVID. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. But I will tell you, um, uh, COVID has a lot to do with everything in, in the relationship. And uh, But, you know, you never say never, okay? Nobody knows what's going to happen in the future. And I'm mean right. sincerely. So uh, as it stands now, we've taken a break. She's gone her way. I've gone my way. Um, am I having a good time? I'm having the time of my life. I hope. She what does what does the time of your life to Rick Sykes mean? Like it, it really means. What are you? What's the average day of having a time of your life or night rather? Okay. Well, day, Rick after dark. No, day and night. Day and night. <laughs> oh, day and night. Oh, you be going in. My day, okay. my day is very important to me. It really is. I mean, I wake up. I play, play with my little puppy, and he's great. Um, I get on the Harley cruise. So you just live the retired life. You're retired. You're back I, I, or do you work or you don't no, do anything? No, I, I haven't worked in 18 years. So you ain't worked in 18 years. No, 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 no. So you just living off your fortune. You back outside. <laughs> so, so I'm, I'm on the beach. I go, you know, I live on the beach, uh, you know, Miami beach, but I'm, I go to the beach. I have a beach club that I hang out in and, um, uh, have my cocktails and my 
my lunch. My man there. living yeah. out here yeah. in Miami. Yeah. And then, and then he wake up and go to the beach at the beach club and have cocktails yeah. and shit. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. That sounds like my type of guy. Yeah. I, I, mm. Yeah. And, and, and look, they ready now. They're like, I want to go to the beach and have no, some cocktails. I'm from the beach, so oh, like, you on the beach already? No, too. I live. For, I like. I, I'm from Melbourne, Florida. I grew up on the beach, 15 minutes away. Like, mm. I, I need. You got your swimsuit ready? Yeah, capper. <laughs> Right mm. I'm trying to take you to the jacuzzi after the show. <laughs> <laughs> no, but... And then, I, then I cruise around at, at, and late oh, in the no. day, I put my top down the car and just have a great cruise around, and mm-hmm. that's what I like to do. Um, I live on a boat, which most people know they've seen the show, uh, Mary Millions, and I have a good size yacht that I live on. So I go up on the top of the yacht and I may grill something on the grill upstairs, like a nice lobster and a white wine, delicious. Um, that's always good. And then accompanied by a nice oh, 18 course. year old. Yeah. Well, 20, 20. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so what, what would your, what would your family say? Let's say you go to the family reunion and you have like this hot, like, very good like, question. cause I know you've been in that situation. Like, are they like Rick, you always bring these younger, like they already know, or what do they say? Great question. They bitch about it. Like, what are you doing, man? Get an older girl. Stunt. That's a great question. My answer is I don't go to family reunion. Oh, okay. You know, <laughs> you know, and and I'm I'm at a point in my life where I really don't give a flying fuck what people say. You're just living for you. Of why course. why do you care what someone else thinks? I know, but I don't step on toes. I don't hurt people. I'm very honest about everything I do. You know, I don't fuck around. I really don't. When I'm with a girl, I don't fuck around, and that's the thing about me. Have you ever dated a black girl? Yes. Um, I told you, green. <laughs> Even. Green, yeah, anything. Green. I, I was she a Martian? <laughs> I think she was actually. Mm. But you know, well, uh, she started smiling when you said "yeah" to the black girl. I look Jamaican over here. But uh, you had a lot of fun, huh? Yeah. Oh, I've, I've had the time of my life. My man, <laughs> hey, we need to go on the yacht with this guy, man. What's up, man? When we going on the yacht? You're always Rick invited. You know you don't have to You've been the there. Yacht. What are you? Talking I have about? been there. That yeah, is true. Yeah, I've been I'm on the yacht. Just thinking, like, wait a second. Been I've been there, but it's, it's, and I have a copy of his book too. It's amazing, yeah. by the way, guys. I have to go get that on Amazon. Yeah. And I'm just, I'm just having the time. Like, the only thing I want to do, I want to plug this: Rick Sykes 305. The reason I say that is this: I just got involved in social media about two years ago, and I really didn't push it or anything like that. And all these people saying, "Wow, Rick, you're a celebrity. You're known all over the world. Everywhere we go, people mm-hmm. stop you, take pictures of you. How many, how many people do you have on your Instagram?" I say twenty five thousand. I said, "That's it." <laughs> I said, yeah. And they're like, are you serious? I said, that's it. Well, you got to do more. I said, yeah, but I don't promote. They said, well, you got to. So now my new thing is I'm promoting. And Great. by the way, you can find the link to um, his Instagram in the description as well as these ladies. And um, so Rick is a single man, ladies. All right. And we got to get him a sugar baby. <laughs> and so today he is actually going to be selecting one. We're playing a game. And so, ladies. I'm going to ask you to turn your cards over and answer the question starting with you. Oh, and, and one thing I want everybody to know, I did not know this was happening. That's right. This is a surprise. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, how good are you in bed? Ooh, that's a good one. You know what? How am I going to judge myself? Because what have you been told? Okay, the reviews, the reviews are astonishing. Hold on, but before you before you answer, Girl I'm gonna ask my man. I'm gonna ask my man right there. If you had to guess, and don't gas her up. If you had to guess from one to ten, how good you think she is in bed? She look kind of boring. She look like she bought a six. Like she be like, don't do that. I don't like this. I don't like anal. Don't put it in here. Oh, don't put it in my face. I don't like that. You know, she look kind of proper, like. Oh, the thing yeah. is slow. Like, like style, know. like not too much. Like, yeah. Yeah, but sometimes those are the, like, sometimes. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, okay, like, I actually like off, a girl. You know, no, I, no, I no, like no, a girl no, that no, acts no, like she doesn't know say. anything. Like, I want to feel like I'm turning her out. Like, I want to feel like <laughs> she ain't never done this. Like, yeah, like I'm turning you yeah. out type shit. Like, I don't want a girl that's going to push me on the bed and control me and be like, <laughs> no. I'm be like, bro, it's lay down and chill out. <laughs> A girl can stop it. Get some help. <laughs> Damn. All right. So from from so so it says from one to ten. So what do you rate yourself? You have to rate yourself. Like, what y'all think she is back there from one to ten? Because I see y'all looking at y'all like, oh no, she bad. A four day. Why you trying her like that? Hey hey, what you give her? What you give her? 
Ah. <laughs> you ain't getting that. You I ain't getting a that. Seven. A seven. Like to make love. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna no, get. Or at least like hey, eight. you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and give you a nine point five. Yeah, I feel I like she's like underhandedly like, like because I, I like swear I, I hung out with you a long time ago. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, all right. So you give yourself a ten. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Oh, Ooh. Great Rick likes that. Great all right. Okay. Your turn. Would you describe your sex drive as high, low, or average? Mm, well, we already know. She said she yeah, been doing five, five times five a week. We already know what you're at. <laughs> she extra high. Oof. For me, I think high, to be honest. I'd have to have a, a box of Energizer batteries for you. You're going to have to pull out <laughs> all the Viagra on her because she five times a day. You're going to need a. Let me Bruh. ask you. So five times a day. My shit will be hurting though. I wouldn't even think. <laughs> I wouldn't be. Walking, I can't do that. I wouldn't be walking. The you most I can do is like three. Yeah. I mean, I could do four, but it's like three is like uh, max. Four would be hurt big time. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you if I. If do y'all get tired of that? Y'all ever like been with a dude and it'd be like too much? It's just like, bro, I don't want to oh, do it this yeah. much. Sometimes. That's when you start thinking yeah. things. Sometimes, yeah, get it over with. Yeah. They gotta start picking the real honey. Okay, so you say your sex drive, you would say high. I think. So. Okay, we Rick. Know, we know. So. Rick, are you taking notes? <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah, mental. All right, your turn. We are my What's your question? Listen, mine's like more of a descriptive one. I fucking need different cards. All right. Uh, okay. Can we get the game back rolling, guys? Let's my, uh, my, give her another card. Mine's like a, mine's like a little wild like, card. More of a descriptive. She said she wanted oh, a freaky that, card. Well, this is Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted a freaky card. No, I didn't. The card that I had, I thought was just like I would have to like actually like tell a story about. And this where'd you like, wait? Well, you two, you, you two stories. right here. Where'd you guys before you answer your car? Where'd you guys get your bodies done at? What? Am I, I'm natural. What the hell? What? Bruh. So no, your body's real. natural. What? Like, even real. Well, me. What about where'd you get your body done? My feet, my boots. Yes. I, well, Doctor Flores, mm -hmm. not sponsored. <laughs> Jaime Flores, he's the best. Right. Nine thousand for my boobies. Yo, Rick, would you buy I'm some boobs? Stand up again, because yeah, I stand up, show that body. My family, Dang. My, my great that girl got a body. <laughs> thank you, mom. Thank you, dad. And, and I thank <laughs> shout out to her mom and dad. And, and I thank your oh mom and dad. God, <laughs> shout out to her mom and dad. All right, so wait. So, Rick, thank you. Would you thank ever you. um? Thank you, God. Would you have you ever bought any boobs before? Don't do that. One of my closest friends here in Miami is, is uh, Doctor Rudner. Lenny, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Lenny Rudner. Yeah, yeah. So if I if I do have a beautiful girl that I'm madly in love with, and she says I want boobs, I get the family discount mm. from Lenny Rudner. Thank God. All right. <laughs> Any ladies want their boobs done? DM Rick Sykes three o five. Or you? Can... All right. What's your question? Okay. Or your. <laughs> Card. This one's like a, a little. Uh, I like that sound effect. Shout out to Shakira, the director back there with the sound effects. The the question is, uh, how often do you watch porn? Oh, that's a good one. I should have got that one. <laughs> well, the one before I'm telling you was like a little more. Like, I would have had to tell us. Just, just look Three at my search history. That's all I have to tell you. All right, look, can we see it? My search history. Yeah. Well. Uh, Let's take a look at her search history. I don't know. What guys watching, know. you guys want to see her search history? You got to show Rick your last site you've been to. Bam. 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 Can I take a look? It's definitely Pornhub is on there. Yo, she got porn on her search history. Good for you, honey. Yo. Wait, Good hold on. You. Hold on, y'all can't see this. Great. No, no, no. At, at least it's just the, the main page fun. and it's not yeah. the um oh the God. actual searching. <laughs> of, Yo. It's just I don't want to get that phone Baby, back. I got a question. <laughs> What's up? No, I mean guys. listen, listen, it, it's healthy to be able to express yourself. Yeah. Why do guys what? <laughs> listen, that, that keeps me from being never with believe fuck my that boys. Some some I just watch porn up. That's what I'd be wondering, cause like, <laughs> I, I be I be wondering that, cause like, girls, the girls get off from porn. I mean, me personally, I don't watch porn. So. Um, <laughs> That's the only thing. I I keep yeah, cause you you too busy doing five times a day. And I'm a, <laughs> hey, before before you before you answer that question, 
very important. Oh, look at this. They holding hands. Look, I think he might have found it. Hey, look, before we answer this question, I want to ask the fellas in the room, and, and we ain't going to judge you. How often do y'all watch porn and, and, like, you know, turn up with yourself? You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, I'm usually, when I'm not too busy, I do it twice a day. What about y'all? Yeah. You go first, Jay. <laughs> you got to see. I probably watch it, like, once a day. Okay. Like a while. So you 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 yeah. masturbate once a day? No, nah, I got to be in the bed with somebody. At what time? Porn. So how often Morning. do you masturbate? No homo. Morning, Morning. afternoon. Uh, night. Night. night, like once a night. Like probably if I, I go out and I get drunk and you know, like, yeah, I have no action or some shit like that. You feel me? Yeah. What about you? How often I was born? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, probably like every two days or something. I need a cap. You're a cap. <laughs> you know, you be on there three no, times no, a day. Like, Let me see your search see. history. You got some shit for the day. Because, like, yeah, right. I got my own yeah, videos and shit. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Facts, facts. You know, girls get mad when they man watches it because one time, like, my ex walked in the room and she saw me like I was, I was having fun with myself, and I was Weird watching. Mommy. She started crying. She left out and started crying. I'm like, why you get mad if I like? Why do y'all get mad about she insecure? Do playing with his like it creates unrealistic that, expectations for us. Mm. Yes, I agree. Mm. I agree. So, what's unrealistic for you? Well, first of all, porn is staged. Like, porn is dead. Like, mad stage. Mm -hmm. None of it is real, basically. It's called yeah. entertainment. I mean, There's yeah, yeah. It's amateur. entertainment, right? Mm. It doesn't matter. It do. I feel like it do mess you up. Like, because, yeah. like, when you watch it, it makes you want to do it. And then it's just, like, have you doing all kind of yeah. freaky stuff. Exactly. And you do exactly what they do in the in the porn. And that shit don't even feel good. You feel me? It's like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. What do you mean? Like, what, what didn't feel good that he tried to reenact in porn? Yeah, just like like was it anal or what was it that he did that you didn't like <laughs> i don't know they just think that they learned the right way to do things from porn and it's definitely not the right way just like give me an example no anything, show us an anything, example head anything then what about you i think i watch porn and after i watch the porn i don't care anymore like it's like I turn off my phone like. Ugh. Oh, sometimes I feel bad and I have to literally throw my phone away. Like, why so wait, so then after you watch porn, you don't want to do it anymore? Yeah, I'm like. Because you're done. Yeah, whatever. I get up and whatever. I let Me too. my guy do whatever. Like he can look whatever ass he wants to look. You don't like, get I'm jealous. Whatever I want, like as I'm long not gonna as coming home with you. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Oh mm, my god. Why the fuck you lying? Y'all love that nigga. Can we get him on the show? But go ahead. All right. What's up? <laughs> you know, the person is with you because he wants to be with you. Yeah. yeah. Not I, because you're making him be with you. I have the same exact thought process. It's like, you know what? Like, in the end, it's like, they're still going to be with it. Like, human nature is human nature. If you're going to, like, yes. cut someone off for something that they're doing, like, yeah. as a human being, like, I don't know. I wouldn't get mad if I caught my dude watch. Hopefully, yeah. I, he wouldn't get mad if he caught me. Yo, that guys, we good. we can it keep our happen. yo we can keep ourselves out of a lot of trouble if like before we go link up with the chick or go to the club, if you just put on some porn, like you literally like might think twice. You might not even go no more. You be like, bro, I'm good actually. I don't even want to go no more. I got my, you know what I mean? I didn't done that. Like I was about to meet up with a chick and I just went ahead and turned on myself. I didn't even want. If you do that and you still want to see her, then maybe it's something there. But if you don't want to see her yeah. after you do that, then it ain't even. It'd be nothing. good to do that when you feel me like, you know, you're not supposed to be hitting up your ex or like yeah. somebody from Keeping you from being a sugar daddy. Yeah, mm -hmm. you just go watch porn real quick. Mm -hmm. like, yo, <laughs> I don't want to hit my ex up. All right, so we still playing this game with Rick. So you still have to um, reach your card because Rick needs to find, we got to find him a sugar baby tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you know about sex that you wish? You had known sooner. Um, well, I don't know if all the guys feel the same, but there's this thing that you do with the head that you use your teeth, but like softly. Yo, teeth. Oh, she's a like biter. I don't know. Head, like, this. like, show. Oh, like that. Bruh. And then you suck. But, Stop it. Get some help. She's a biter. I don't know. Like, uh, you be biting, but, but like softly, not like too much. You're dangerous. No, 
<laughs> he said she dead. He's like, tell me more type shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> you show me an example, maybe on my like, 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 I don't know. <laughs> 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 Uh, oh, wait, wait, you want to try it? <laughs> <laughs> Can we do that on the on, on this show? I don't know, Rick. Are, are you having a battle? Do you need to issue the girls more questions? Or you think you've made a decision? Or well, Wait, wait, can we, can we try all this stuff now? Yeah, we can. Actually, We in Miami podcast is the only podcast that actually has a bedroom. I'm back for we the contestants that would like to go you in. We are too offer that. Too. Going once, going twice. I think I'm a little older than... All the other girls in the pod. How old are you again? How old do you think I am? Well, I remember. Any guesses? guesses? I hope remember. you ain't over forty, cause Rick ain't gonna rock with you if you are. Rick said he like him young. Twenty six. Very close. Now I thought she was twenty two, twenty one. That's great. Thank you. Nope. Crazy. Love that. Well, twenty eight. I'm twenty seven. Oh, you grown. Yeah. You grown, grown. So what I was gonna say is that. Um, you think you learn more I, than I like well for me it's that sex is just it it's not just sex it's also an energy exchange like you're exchanging energy it so is, you yeah. really need to be careful about who you're just exchanging your energy with because yeah you know what I mean yeah facts yeah you get sex really played a number one role in the relationship yeah you got to so your do whole you, body after. Well, do you think like if you were mentally stimulated by a man and he was taking care of you and all your needs but the sex wasn't there, would you still like be able to be with him or is sex like that important for a relationship? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. And let and, and guys, I'm gonna like, tell y'all right now. Awful, but girls be bigger freaks than we do, man. Like no, girls be big freaks. It's, it's not even cheap. that, bro, but it's important. You know, there's physical attraction, there's mental attraction, and there's sexual. And if the sex ain't there, bro, like the what about y'all? Do y'all like to connect on a girl on a with a mental level first? Yeah, you like you just get you know right why? to it. Because you know, certain dimes, if you have sex with them, you feel drained after. Mm. I hate to feel that way. Yeah. So I like to know what type of person you is. Mm -hmm. You know. How old are you? I'm 23. What's the oldest girl you ever been with? Like 45. Damn. <laughs> See, I told you the young guys they like that. <laughs> you like wine and grape juice. You've been with her mama type shit. <laughs> that was like a one time thing. One time, yeah. What's the youngest you go? Shit, I'm pretty young. So probably like 18. 18. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 19. <laughs> <laughs> I like that little sound effect. <laughs> what about my man right here? He in the back. What come here, man? What's up? My man in the back. You what what's up, fam? What's the uh what's the oldest you would go? 32. 32. How old are you? I'm 23. 23. Oh, young nigga. He just flipped the numbers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you flipped the numbers. <laughs> yeah, that's what he just did. <laughs> so, all right. I see you've been looking at the girls right, right here. So, come on here. Which which one uh, which one of these girls, if you had to choose one, would you choose? Jump down, jump down, jump down. I'm going to go with her. You think? You think? Oh, you want to go miss five times a day? Okay. Pink looks more freaky. Hey, at, at twenty, at twenty-three, you can go five times a day. <laughs> we in Miami. Oh, this one be most freaky with the shy one. The shy one. Oh, <laughs> my man Facts. setting up a play. All right, guys, if you if you had to choose one of these girls out of all these girls, which one would you um, smash? Twenty-seven. You would smash that one. Yeah. Okay. Can we get a bell? Ding ding. <laughs> there you go. All right, what about you? I get home because I like her accent. This one? Yeah. Like the, she she want a Russian man. She said she don't even want no black dude, and she good on those. Okay. Uh, a challenge. Ladies, if you had to be with someone, oh, we got another guy in the back. Come here, man. <laughs> my so man back here been looking at these girls the whole show he like man so bro ask me i want to get one of them too which one would you choose out of all these girls man i'm not gonna lie the one right here to the right in the seven which one the jamaican girl yeah bro that's mine now <laughs> <That was like, laughs> all right ladies now before i ask y'all who would y'all choose in the building rick has been presented all of you women. Which one would you choose to be your sugar baby? Or do you need more questions? Or are you straight with these? You got a good idea. Well, I, I'll tell you. Uh, I have a great idea. 
Uh oh, he already knew when he walked okay. in which one he wanted. But but here's my situation. <laughs> my he situation is I would never say because the reason being, and I'll tell you right now, is because the ones out there listening, <laughs> I don't want them to say, "Oh shit, he likes this, and I'm something totally different." Mm -hmm. Rich trying not to <laughs> mess himself up for tonight. He got <laughs> one on day for tonight. He like, you are not gonna fuck up my pussy for tonight because I got one waiting on me. Time I get off this show, and if I choose one of these. Is over between us. <laughs> no, we are all different. So all right. we have different connections with everyone. So you don't get mad because you like me or you like her or you her. That's the thing. Like, here's mm -hmm. my here's my problem. I like all four of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's hard and, to and, Miami. and my thing is this. It's very simple in my life. I love women. Okay? I do. Rick said he loved women. All right, so Rick, have you ever had a foursome, like four girls at the same time? Uh, remember something. I owned a strip club. Oh, shit. So four is nothing to me. You, hold on, wait. Hold on, hold on. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Around, you so you're telling me you, naked. you, you tell walk him, around naked. you telling yeah, me you've been with more than four up. girls at the same time. I also, I also, What's the most you've been with at the same time same in your time life? Eight. You're a king. Eight. I've been told. <laughs> so wait, hold on. So you had an eight some? So you had like double what we got right here. Oh man. And it was just you or were there other guys or just me. It was a party. Hey. Rick had a party. And we have a party. I'm Rick James, bitch. That is like that too. <laughs> My man Rick so, James in this moment. You're not the only one, baby boo. I never say I'm the only one. I promise you. I never say I'm the only one. <laughs> I just say I'm having the time of my life. Yeah. And people who know me know that. Now I gotta tell you, getting back getting, Eight? getting back to this book. But how do you but how do you wait? I gotta oh. tell you one second. Getting okay. back to this book. I wrote this book and people look at this book and say, You gotta be fucking kidding me. Are you is this real? I said, Of course it's real. But the people who knew me when I was growing up, they said when they read this book, a lot of them read it, they said, Rick, you gave the PG version in this book. Okay, parental. I didn't give the X rated. So what's the, but what's the rated R like? How do you how do you do eight girls? Cause like me after like oh, two girls is too much. I'd be oh, tired. No, no, I'm like, no, no, all right, no, let me. I gotta hit both of y'all. Like, how do you do eight? It's very simple. You ready? It really <laughs> is. My old house in Connecticut. I had a jacuzzi for eight, mm. and it's very simple when you have eight people and you're in the middle and you have all of them around you. And you're in and out, 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 in and out. And if you can't, if you can't figure that out, so wait, wait. So you were in a jacuzzi, and it was eight girls lined up, kind of just sitting there, like like posing there, and you were just literally going around one at a time. Bro, damn. Tell you that for a girl, that's not healthy at all. Like maybe like all the not healthy one. Like eight girls, like one dick going in and out like in a girl like you can give her a infection this is long before aids long before all the crazy things today so let me tell you something if you got an infection those days you know what you do you call the doctor up the doctor would say come in they give you one yeah, shot. Yeah, one shot, but it fucks up your no, no, your no. organs too. No, one shot. Like it's not like baby, you can take baby, the medication baby, and baby. like it goes honey, away. Honey, one is the old days. It, happens, it was like, one just, shot. Like, it was one shot. So it, so you gotta realize it's shit different now. Totally. Different. Like now it's like stuff you can't I mean, get rid of in Miami. Like yeah. a few years ago, body, back in like when you love your body. That's not what you want. I don't know, but back in the best, fucking Scarface days, know. like y'all saw a Scarface love, movie, was everybody was lit. Love, it ain't me. Nothing. You know what? You know what? Let me tell you. Something. Like hippies. Let me tell you. It's exactly what it was. Wait, we got a super chat. They said this is the Walmart version of Dan Brazilian. Nah. nah. We ain't Walmart, man. We like at least Target or something, dog. We out here turning <laughs> up. Dan, I don't think Dan had been with eight at a time. But shout out to Dan, bro. If you want to come on the show, tell us about it. You can. <laughs> but, but let me let me tell you. In, in the old days, some uh, a very popular song in my day was, if you can't be the one, if you can't be with the one you love, love the one you're with, okay? Mm. That was that was very popular in my day, okay? Today, women look at it and say, oh, that's terrible. You know, you should be 
you should be with me, be with me, only with me. When I was there, I went to Woodstock. Now, I don't know if you guys ever, if you guys never heard of Woodstock. Okay. What is that in Miami or my, where is that at? My dad was conceived at Woodstock. Okay. Woodstock was the festival. <laughs> is that a festival. hospital or was a, uh, no? It was a, it was a, music, a, a festival. music festival. He was conceived at the festival type shit. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> right. So I'm like, is that yeah. a Woodstock yeah. hospital? With all of the drugs, the with all so the drugs, with all, with all the the uh, uh, Jimi Andor. Hendrix, you know Hendrix. He's yeah. Hell yeah. After Hendrix, after Hendrix was ish. playing there. It was the best concert ever in the world, number one in the world, and everybody knows it. It's all, it's Man, all docu- It's all documented. It was the number one concert in the world. All right, I was there. People were there. People were. When I tell you, they were just having sex with everybody. When I tell you, they just were, in the crowd. It was just, you would just meet somebody, say, "Hey, how are you? Good." Stick hey, it in. Hey, baby, bend over. Boom. Boom. And Apparently. Then, and it was like this. Can we get a blow up? A uh, blow up sound. Wow. There we go. That was- so Rick, I gotta ask you, what do you do when like a old, like an older lady try to hit on you? You just like laugh her off. I get that all the time. People horny around, like, hey, yes, you can. You're not interested in me. I get yeah, that all the time. What? How do you blow them off? What do you do? Oh, I just say I'm, I'm fair. I really am just not interested. That's all. I'm just very be polite. I'm yeah. very polite, but I'm really not interested. And people need that's to be true. safe nowadays. So you ever like met like an older woman and then she wants you, but then like you see her daughter and you're like, yo, I want your daughter. Well, I've had a lot of problems with that. <laughs> Rick is that guy. Hey, hey when he see your daughter, he's like, "Hey, uh, what's up with her?" Meet me in the meet me in the kitchen. I've had a lot of problems when your mom goes to sleep. But well, remember, I'm I'm over twenty one. <laughs> remember that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Over twenty one, of course. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you're twenty one, you know what I'm saying hit up Rick Sykes three hundred five. <laughs> but Rick, I know you can't pick, man. Come on, you got to pick one of these girls. If hypothetically, if yeah. someone had a gun in your head and they yeah. said, "Look, you got to choose one of these four. Well, you know what? I'll tell you this. See this little lady right here? Oh, we, we, he chose we, her. She's a winner. Give her the grand prize. Yeah, we actually, <laughs> we actually have a history. Oh, shit. Well, not like that, but. <laughs> <laughs> Rick, you done been with that? Why the fuck you lying? <laughs> Why you always lying? Oh, my God. Why the fuck you lying? Nah, flam. Yeah, you hit that one? You. you hit it? Oh. No, I met because of you. Like you met him at my party. Yeah. yeah. And then and what? Y'all kind of hit it off, started no, DMing. Wait, not even. Have you ever been on his yacht? No. No, but it's I, just more of like every time I see him, it's always just good energy and mm. like he's a funny person. So if he was I to tell you he wanted you to go back on his yacht tonight after the show, what would you say? Yes or no? Well, I have thing. I have <laughs> I have work, so I can't. Unfortunately, if you didn't have work, would you go back on the yacht? I mean, I party with Rick any time. He's my homie. If so that guy. means yes. Hey, <laughs> what happens on Rick's yacht stays on Rick's yacht. Not even like that, bro. Eight <laughs> girls at a time. I could no, probably man. bring more girls for Rick. <laughs> oh, you the one that bring them. Yeah. Mm. You know, I facilitate the fun. I'm a facilitator of fun. Raise your hand if you would, raise your hand <laughs> if you would party on Rick's yacht. I'm a facilitator. Raise your hand if you would party on Rick's yacht. Oh, yeah, right. damn. So hey, nice we going to have an after party. Yeah. We about to have an after party on this yeah. yacht. My nigga, we're like, I'm trying to roll, too. I'm trying to go. We're trying to roll, yeah. too. That's Mr. Yacht. 8 right there. Hey, <laughs> all of us trying to roll on that guy. Mr. 8. <laughs> you know, assistant nightlife director, I'll find some baddies. I'll, I'll, I'll help out the whole team. I got you. <laughs> it ain't finna be me, but I got you. <laughs> if, if you want, like... Once it was like, down. I'll do what I got. If, if it's people that look like me, if you got a certain type, I'll do what I got to do. <laughs> <laughs> but it ain't finna be me. Why you keep stroking the mic like that? I don't know. Like it's she really, keep doing like this when she talks. It's just like <laughs> what do you think? What are you talking about? Nightlife or light knife? Like no, I just honestly like I like. Like y'all see the way she holding it and shit. <laughs> Maybe is it just me or issues? I don't know? Maybe it's like control issues. Nah, like that like... seemed a little freaky the way you great <laughs> Rick ripping that motherfucker. And I kept hearing the word Rick every time she was mm-hmm, like yeah. she playing with it. I know. <laughs> what about the girls, you guys? Like girls? Hmm. She trying to get to it. <laughs> Does this way. also um, affect no, we uh, don't. sugar babying? We don't know like your answer. You can bring friends, Rick. Yeah. What's, what's your answer? Yes. I, don't yeah. know, 
I remember you. Yeah. Yeah. Girlfriends. Okay. <laughs> had a so, girlfriend? No. So you've never had a girlfriend? No. My little sister is lesbian, not me. Mm. Like I have girls that are friends. And How old is your little sister? Twenty-four. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Can she come to the show? Now I'm playing. <laughs> oh yeah, Becca's Becca's a real one. She's pretty hot. She pretty hot or? I mean, she's hot, but like she's she, she like a dikey dike or like girly girl lesbian. lipstick or? Nah, she ain't lipstick. She's not mm. at all. But yo, my sister pulls. So she be pulling. Yeah, she pulls. Mm. So you do like girls or you don't? No. Well, I like girls. Like well, I have like you been with one romantically? No, not like that. No. What about you? Romeo. I had a girlfriend, Claudia. You had a girlfriend? Yeah, she's in Spain now. How long were you together? And well, I meet her in Venezuela. Yeah, so how long you guys party? It was long, like was one long. year. Was she black or you don't like no, black girl was either? white with long hair. Now yeah. she's like with little hair. She's super like now. Mm. But yeah, she's cute. She's a singer. Mm. Does your Russian boyfriend know about that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and they have videos and everything. Oh, really? We wow. and <laughs> Well, and, we and, like and, to review and, those at the We and Mommy yeah, podcast. I love you too. <laughs> and your Russian boyfriend hasn't sent her a ticket here yet? <laughs> so what about you? Yes, I like girls. So all of y'all just like girls in here, I guess. Yeah. Well, we all like girls. <laughs> all right. So if you had to choose one of these girls, who would you pick? Yes, mm-hmm. Don't be shy. Ooh. What about you? Who would you pick out of everybody? And if you don't pick hers, that's going to be fucked up because she just picked you. <laughs> like, I'm be like, damn, why are you doing it like that? <laughs> Mm. We in Miami. We got a match. I feel, trying to set up I, a play tonight. I feel so, I feel so All right, so both of y'all, which guy would you choose in here if you had to choose one? Who would you pick? You go first, because I want to know who you pick. Mm -hmm. I want to know too. I gotta, look at the, I gotta like examine. You feel all the guys, can we have all the guys line up over here in the front? <laughs> <laughs> look, that nigga ready. He no, looking like, like bro, I'm trying to get that one right here, bro. Like, <laughs> what she talking about, bro? I'm trying. I want that one. Gang, shout out. In the back. Ooh, which one with the uh bag on? Yeah. Come over here, my man. My man in the back pulling. He ain't even. Yeah, look. He get in there. Get in the middle of the shot. My man over here got the Louis Vuitton on. You, you ain't got no gun in there, do you? My nigga got the bag, bands in there. All right. So. We in Miami. All right. So give him your number. Give him your, give, give him your number. Hit the Instagram. You don't got a phone. Oh, that means she wants you to buy it. Look, she's sugar baby in training. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Hey, what about you? Who would you choose out of these four girls? And if you don't pick her, you a dirty nigga. Oh, he already picked you. Yeah, oh, he already had to play. All right, what about you? Which? Yeah, which? Or no, wait, no, which guy? Chiki. No, I want to say girl. Okay, which girl? Well... For her uh, girl, her because um she turns me on. Oh shit! And she's so bossy. Damn, you she know? came out with like, it. Damn, son, where'd she find and this? I, and I like her because she looks so submissive. You like submissive yeah. girls, so yeah. Me too. We got that in common. It's one thing we got in common. <laughs> now, what about you? Which girl would you pick? Girl, mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna say shit sits like. Why everybody want everybody want to hit this no, one? Like, damn. See, because it's just like she might as well just be ready to turn like, up tonight. Everybody like ready. Like like, so like I'm probably the worst person to ask. What about guy? Like, which guy would you I'll turn ask my up? Dog, Rick, over here. Rick. Hey! hey ding 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 ding. <laughs> Ricky Rick. I'm Rick James, bitch. Uh, all right, so well, you know, you know my uh my name on the show, right? You know what they used to call me? Oh. Rick show. James. BDR. What does that mean? Big, Big Dick, Dick Rick. Rick. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> My man, wow. Well, look, I think that everybody here could all get a sugar daddy. Everybody here could all get a sugar baby. And, and people watching this, if you want one, we've told you how to do it. 
Make your profile look attractive. Be straightforward with it. Put it in their ear. Tell them how much you'll give them. Ladies, put yourself around successful people. Surround yourself with them. Check out for your requested DMs. That's yeah. where the money is. The money is not in the people you know. You have to go to your request. And you might find Rick Sykes 305 in the building. Shout out to everybody that came on the show showing love. And any girls who want to find a sugar daddy, come on the We in Miami podcast, and we'll be more than likely to hook you up. I'm your host, Stunt Lifestyle. And where we at, y'all? We in Miami. Hey, let's go. We in Miami.